In this tutorial, you will learn how to connect your Google Cloud Storage account to SFTP Cloud and use it as the storage layer for your SFTP and FTP server. Let's get started by opening your Google Cloud console in order to create a new service account. Click the Create Service Account button and give a name to your new service account after which, click the Create and Continue button. In the Roles drop-down, search for Cloud Storage and select Storage Admin. Click the Done button and wait until the service account is created. Click on the service account just created and go to the Keys tab. Select Create New Key and then click Create again. This will download a JSON file with your key, needed later. Now, it's time to create a new Google Cloud Storage bucket. Type a name and click the Create button. Since we have all the needed credentials, we can start creating a new SFTP instance. Select a region and then select Google Cloud Storage. Type the name of the bucket created earlier. Go to the JSON key file downloaded earlier and open it in a text editor. Copy its content and paste it into the key field. As the last step, click the Create SFTP Instance button and wait until the instance is created. Now, your SFTP instance powered by Google Cloud Storage is ready to be used. You can use your favorite client, for example, FileZilla, Cyberduck, Forklift, and many others to perform SFTP and FTP operations which will be reflected in your Google Cloud Storage account. Also, any change made directly via Google Cloud Storage will be reflected in the instance. Let's quickly show you how to use the instance via SFTP using OpenSSH with the command line. Go to the Users, click on the first one, copy its connection string, and paste it into the terminal. Copy and paste the user password as well. Now you are connected and the server is empty. The Google Cloud Storage bucket is empty as well. Let's start by uploading a file via SFTP and then we check via both SFTP and the Google Cloud Storage dashboard if it has been uploaded. The file is uploaded. Let's create a new folder directly from the Google Cloud Storage dashboard. The folder is visible via SFTP as well. Let's create again a new folder from Google Cloud Storage. Make sure it's visible in the SFTP server, then let's rename it via SFTP and run the ls command to confirm it has been renamed. Refresh the Google Cloud Storage dashboard to see that the folder was renamed there as well. As a last action, let's delete the folder from Google Cloud Storage and confirm via SFTP that the directory is not there anymore. In this video, you learn how to use Google Cloud Storage as the file system of an SFTP and FTP server created using SFTP Cloud.